Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of FinanceHomeworkHelp.net and also Quality Business Plan. And what I'm going to do today is show you all, um, I'm going to discuss what a yield curve is and I'm going to show you all how to make a yield curve in Excel. And a yield curve, all that is, is it's, it's the ability um, for somebody to plot an interest rate for an investment, um, a security vehicle, um, and show how the investment changes over time via interest rate. So it's a little bit hard to explain without a visual aid. So let me show you how to make the yield curve in Excel, and then it's gonna help you understand better what a yield curve is. So for this example, what I'm gonna be using is I'm gonna be using um, mortgage interest rates as the example. So I'll type in mortgage rates, and then what I'll do is I will merge these two cells and then I'm going to find a five year, 10 year, 15 year, 20 year, 25 years, and then 30 years. So we're going to plot the, um, each one of these different interest rates for, um, for mortgage rates. And let's say that the current five year is going to be 5.7%. Five point seven, and let's say it's six point three percent for the ten year, and then six point seven percent for the fifteen, seven point two percent for the twenty, seven point nine percent for the twenty-five, and then let's go with eight percent for the thirty years. So now what we've got so far is we've got the different interest rates. And for each one of the years, we have um, for we have the years aligned with each one of these interest rates. So next thing we'll do is we're going to highlight the years and the interest rates. We're going to go up to Insert, and then we're going to click down on the graph, and then we're going to select a graph. And so now what we have is we've got our um, yield curve. So we're going to title this yield curve. All right, and so what we have here is we got a nice little graph, and so let's take a look at what this really means. So what this is showing us is that as the yield, as the years go on, so five years, 10 years, 15 years, the interest rate is continually increasing. So the relationship between these two, um, these two figures is that as the term increases, five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, the interest rate's gonna increase as well. And we can easily change this title from mortgage rates to um, T-bill. And the concept still stays the same, where we have, um, as the yield, as the, um, as the time to maturity ex increases, then our yield is going to increase as well. So, and also this is called a normal yield curve. Now, let's say that we have 5.7%, 5.7, and let's say it's 5.7 all the way down. So if this were the case, then what we have now is we have a flat yield curve, which means that regardless of the, when the, um, the financial instrument is due, then the interest, the corresponding interest rates, they're going to be the same. So it really doesn't matter whether you take out a loan um, for five years or 30 rate years, you're going to be paying the same interest rate. Um, or if you're going to invest in a T-bill uh, for five years, you can buy, um, get interest for 5.7% on a T-bill in five years. Same thing on 30 years. So that's your flat. Then our inverted is going to be when the interest rate is going down the further the term. This is very unusual, but it does happen. And so here's our inverted, where from left to right, it starts five years, starts at a higher interest rate, and as it goes down, it's diving. So this situation will happen, not very often, but it does happen when um, the interest rates are sky high right now, and we expect interest rates to be falling substantially over time. And that's when you get your yield um, inverted yield curve. So this is your inverted yield curve. And um, so that's it right there. And then 
If you all want to purchase this template, go right here to um, this website right here, scroll down to Yield Curve Template and Calculator. And the way this template works is that I'm going to highlight this information right here blue. I will change this to mortgage. And then I will go ahead and make this all pretty. And if you all want to purchase this, um, just jump right over to that website and um, scroll down to where it says uh, Yield Curve for a template and um, pick one up. And hopefully this was helpful. And if you all need some finance tutoring or some templates made, uh, don't hesitate to um, give me a call or um, visit one of my websites. Thank you.